Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to decorate, do some crafting, and a cookie delivery. And so I thought that we could spend some time together, settle in for a cozy day getting ready for Christmas. So as always, today started off pretty early. I got up, grabbed a cup of coffee, and settled into my room to get a little bit of studying done. It is finals week. Also, I'm enjoying these ambiance rooms. This one was a crackling fireplace and falling snow. I studied for about an hour and a half before my six-year-old came in to entertain me. And then we all got up to make breakfast together. I swore before I had kids I'd never be a short order cook, but here I am making multiple breakfasts for multiple people. Welcome to the Thunderdome. It's perpetually laundry day in my house and this hunter green sweater and leggings is going to be my outfit until February. I'm going to turn my coffee corner into a Christmas coffee corner. I'm just wiping everything down, putting my two tiered tray back. And then my mom got me this cookie jar when I first got married. My sister has one too. And I decided that this year I would put my teas and hot chocolate in it. And so I went ahead and filled that up. And then it has this matching tray. I'm just gonna put it on the counter next to his half brother with my coffee and some local honey that my friend Becca makes. Now it's time to break out the Christmas mugs. I either got these from the thrift store or the Dollar Tree. I do not remember, but I have a couple of these. And then this one is from Disney, but I'm actually going to put it back this year because I only have a set amount of room. My sister gave me this little guy. I've had him for six or seven years and I love him. This was my new coffee mug this year. I got it at Michael's. It was $4. This was my new Christmas mug last year. And then my husband also got my kids these Pikachu mugs. But my favorite are this set of four little espresso cups from World Market. They're perfect for my daughter's steamed milk every morning because she is the queen of England. Last week I read a book to my little kids called Christmas on the Farm or Simple Christmas on the Farm. I can't remember. It was a really sweet book about a family having all their friends over for just a simple Christmas and making all of the gifts. And so my six-year-old really liked the idea of making gifts. And so he wanted to make his cousins these little crayons and so we went through found all the broken crayons peeled them and put them in this little mold and we're going to melt them and make our own little gingerbread crayons and this is really easy to do if you've never done it you can use any sort of muffin tin or mold you preheat your oven to 300 and then it just takes about 15 minutes for everything to melt <laughs> We tried to keep like colors together, um, but really if you mix them up, it still has a beautiful effect. You keep them in the oven for about 15 minutes, take them out, pop them out after they cool, and they make these really cool crayons. We're about to go out and run some errands for the day, but before we do, I'm going to put in a little turkey chili. I also put in a little sausage in this this week. You guys know how to make chili, but the key if you're going to make it in the crock pot 
is to brown your meat before you put it in. It it just tastes better. It just does. And it only takes, you know, less than 10 minutes to brown that meat. I've even seen people put their slow cooker on high and brown it in the slow cooker before they put everything else in, but I just do it on the stove. It turns out delicious every time. Okay, so Jason spent the weekend making and decorating beautiful sugar cookies, and so I'm going to pack them up to take them to some friends. These are actually hot cocoa cookies, and I'll see... I'm going to make no promises about sharing any recipes. I'm sorry. I always say I'm going to link link it in the description and I always forget. So if I do remember, it will be like a fun bonus. After we delivered the cookies, we went to our local story walk. I grabbed a cup of coffee and we went on, I think it's a half mile or a mile. I don't know. And then when we got home, I made apple nachos. So this is just simple. You thin slice your apples and then melt some peanut butter in the microwave. And then I just do a handful of dark chocolate chips on top. And my kids think that this is the greatest treat of all time. And it's just one of those like easy mom wins. I'm going to put on a podcast and make some Play-Doh also for the cousins for Christmas or for my youngest nieces for Christmas. And this is just a very simple recipe. So it's two cups flour, three quarter cup salt, and then a tablespoon of cream of tartar. Mix in all your dry ingredients together. This recipe does require cooking. Also, you can see my husband is super into the elves and they came and brought a box of brownie mix and made brownies. I know, I know. He also turned my car into a Rudolph the red Nose Reindeer. Okay, so we're gonna put a pot on the stove and put in our dry ingredients, add two cups of water and two tablespoons of vegetable oil, and then you're just gonna stir, stir, stir until it becomes the consistency of mashed potatoes. It takes probably six to seven minutes to do this on a medium heat. And then I turn it onto some wax paper and let it cool for a little bit before I knead it because you do want to kind of push it together with your hands to incorporate everything, but you cannot do it while it is hot because one, it will burn you and two, it turns out mushy. So you need to set it aside for about 10 minutes to cool. After that, after it's cooled and I've kneaded it, I take a bench scraper and divide it into four even sections and then I'm going to take some... Um, food coloring I guess this is a gel based coloring that my husband uses to make cookies and I'm going to make four distinct colors so I'm doing red um, kind of a peppermint color green and blue and I am adding a few essential oils to this so I did a vanilla one a peppermint one an orange one and one that's like a just a Christmassy fragrance I picked up these bags of the Hobby Lobby and they're perfect for little bags of Play-Doh or the crayons or anything that you might be giving to a kid. You can put a cookie in there. They're super cute. This year I also had a lot of people to give gifts to in our homeschool community. So the people who teach my kids science and math and grammar and history and all, you know, it's a lot of teachers. And so I got these wood slices off Amazon. My husband does have a wood burner and I did little snowman faces on a lot of them, but some of them I did hand paint. So if you don't have a wood burner, really easy option. You can get these um, off Amazon in a pack of 20. I know they sell them at Michael's and I just painted some of them white, went through with my sponge and sponged a little Christmas scene on all of them. That looks better. But maybe, maybe you should add some different color ornaments. Okay. I went back over the ornaments and added in snowflakes or stars or ornaments, and I think they turned out beautiful. I've actually already given these out, and they were very well received. 
it's okay if things feel different this year or maybe you have to keep things a little bit more simple. For me, I've had a hard time getting into the Christmas spirit. If I'm being totally honest, this year's just been bad. It's just, it's been a hard, bad year um, with a lot of tears and a lot of frustration. And I was crying to my husband the other night and we were just talking about just how rough things have been and I feel unmoored. <laughs> and so something about taking the time to sit down, work with my hands, I'm not a crafter, but actually crafting, I get it. I get why people enjoy it. And it has allowed me the space to think and to think about the people that I'm doing stuff for and to reflect on my time that I've had with them and my hope for the time to come. But if you're feeling that way too this Christmas season and you're going into it with a little bit of frustration or heartbreak or a sense of loss, I relate to you and you're not alone in those feelings and this can be a hard time. Um, so do what you can to make yourself feel cozy and to bring coziness into your home and to take those deep breaths and to know you are never alone. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hanging out with me. Merry Christmas and we'll talk soon.